my 2016 elk hunt things were about to get exciting okay everyone um, this is Randy up hunting in the fossil unit in my nobody likes to hunt here but me unit and um, was a pretty uneventful yesterday which was the day before looked for tracks couldn't find anything saw one buck looked really discouraging got us started this morning um, got started like an hour and a half two hours before daylight had somebody walking up right behind me wasn't on my party <laughs> bummer anyway so here we are um, about 9 this morning or 8 9 o'clock I spotted a really good bull across the canyon from me um, 1100 1200 yards I uh, finally was able to close that to about a thousand I was gonna try to take the shot on the slope I couldn't get comfortable I couldn't make it happen so I lost sight of him but the last thing I remember is seeing him in my crosshair standing in the shadows so I walked up the ridge a little bit further and uh, found a spot where I could still see the trees that I thought he had laid down in. I wasn't sure, but I thought he did. And I set up my spot and scope, got my rifle all situated, had lunch, drank some water, just hanging out, waiting. And, and uh, after about two hours, I started looking through this one tree and I saw something that looked like a branch moving <laughs> through my spot and scope. So I, bio, I dialed it up and sure enough, I could see brow tines. And then as I watched, I could see the animal moving its head. So I uh, got my rifle all set up, got my scope on it, I'm watching, and my spotting scope, that is. And when I got to, um, after watching him for a while, it looked like he's going to lay there. This is about 1 o'clock, maybe 1.30. And I went back to my spotting scope, and I'm watching and eating this, some sandwiches, eating some more food, just white waiting and watching. He... I'm looking through the scope and he jumps up and by the time I could get to my rifle he was nowhere to be seen so I look around look around I finally spot him probably 150 yards from where he's laying and uh, so I give it some Kentucky windage launch around I'm sure I was hitting low but he just stopped and he stood there and he looked around so I fired another round and he turned and he started coming downhill and uh, from where he was Let's see, that looks like the right drainage. Up, oh, yeah, wrong way, up. Like about there somewhere. That's where he's laying, right in there. And he ran over, and I could see him up here, right on the edge of the draw. I fired a few rounds. He turned and he ran, and he came all the way down, across the creek, and ran right down this which is right below me. And I could see him coming. I ran over the hill where I could get a shot. And uh, I shot from right back up there as he crossed through this meadow below me at about 250 yards and he piled up. So my 2,000 yard shoot, or my, <laughs> my thousand yard shooting didn't work worth it. Tinker's Dam, um, no wind. I don't know what was going on, but he wasn't hit. When he got down here, though, I was able to put a round in him, and um, I don't think he suffered. So, another successful hunt, dandy 6x6. Fossil has been good to me yet again. Thank you, everybody. We'll talk to you later. Once you get him on the ground, that's when the work starts, and this was no exception. Luckily, a dear friend came up to help us pack this, boy, this beast out. There he is. This was the last time I saw Mel alive. This is a tribute to you, Mel.